Hey, how's it going? And today we are going to explore how to say hello world using C++ in Unreal Engine. And we're going to just do this as a log statement. So one of the things I'm discovering is that there's many ways to say hello world in Unreal Engine in C++. And this is just one way. And so I plan to try to do other ways, show other ways we can say hello world in C++. So this is just one way. And I also want to say this isn't so much a tutorial about C++ as it is just showing how C++ interfaces with Unreal Engine. And so that's really what I'm the most interested in right now. I'm slowly learning C++, but I am not a C++ developer or programmer. So if I misspeak, I apologize about C++. But this is mostly just about C++ interacting with Unreal Engine. So to start this, we're just going to go into first person and we're going to go to C++ and I'll just leave it called My Project 7 and I'll go create. Now when you do it as a C++ project, it's going to compile the program kind of in the background and it's going to start Visual Studio. So one thing you should be aware of if you're going to do a C++ project is that you probably want to have the most current version of Visual Studio installed on your computer. Otherwise you're going to get messages, error messages, and probably other messages too. And as you go along, I think Unreal is pretty good about telling you like you don't have the current version installed. So that's kind of what I've had to go through already with Visual Studio is I've all these messages saying, install the latest version, install the latest version. This has been deprecated. This has been banned. So I've had to go through that little bit of the process. So notice what's happening right now is that it started Visual Studio. And for me, I just kind of get this blank screen. I don't really get, I just get Visual Studio up, but there's really nothing showing on Visual Studio, but I can see it's up and running. So I come down here on my tabs and go back into Unreal Engine. It's asking me what I want to do about my previous project and I don't want to save it. So now it's going to go ahead and launch my project, my C++ project in Unreal Engine. So it started Visual Studio and now it's starting Unreal Editor. So when you bring it in, start it up as a C++ project, you're going to notice over here in the content browser, the C++ folder. And then there's a couple ways. What we're going to do is create a C++ class. And there's a couple ways you can do it. Within this folder, you can just right click and go new class. You can also come up here to tools and go new C++ class too. So there's a couple ways to do it. But I'm just going to right click and go new C++ class. We're just going to make this an actor class and go next. We're just going to leave it called my actor and go create class. Now, this is interesting. When it does that, it kind of restarts Visual Studio, loads in some code, and now it creates a connection with live coding, what they call live coding. And then you'll get a message over here. It's going to pull you back into Unreal saying live coding succeeded, which means now I can compile the code on the fly within Unreal Engine. And down here on the bottom is the compile button. It seems kind of hidden down there, but it's it's down here right on the bottom. See, and it says recompiles and reloads C++ code. Okay, so there is that. I can see Visual Studio is open here. If I click in this folder, there's my... C++ class that I created, but since it's already open, it's not going to do anything. If I click on this, it's down here already open. Now this message pops up, but I'm just going to say ignore all. We don't want to, we don't want to reload anything. All we're going to do here, we're not going to compile within Visual Studio. We're just going to save our files, but we're going to do all our compiling within Unreal Engine. If we try to compile here, we're going to get an error. You know, I did a to tell a world tutorial about six months ago and you know I guess uh it didn't seem like it was that unpopular but I, I did get a little flack for misspeaking about C++. <laughs> so all we're going to do here is this is really simple is we are just going to write one line of code and I'm not even going to write it I'm going to copy and paste it and we're going to put it right here on our C++ file right under my begin play within these brackets hit control v 
and it's just going to call up the UE log. And then these are just the parameters that need to be in there. And this TEXT, I realize, is a text macro. And just to be different, instead of saying hello world, I'm going to hello and, <laughs> and hello world there. And that's all we have to do. Once we have our code written, we just save the file. So that's all we got to do there. And now if I go back into Unreal Engine and I come down here and hit this button, it's going to compile the code. And look, no errors, it worked. So that's fantastic, right? Hopefully that's what happens with you. So anyway, we're gonna close this. And then there's only one thing we need to do. We go back into the content browser. We're gonna right click. Let me show you something first. If we were to hit play right now, it's gonna run. And we look at our output log, we actually get a couple warnings naturally, but we don't see our hello world down there, right? So that's the next step that we gotta do. Go back to the content drawer here. We're gonna right click, create a blueprint class, all classes, and we're gonna search for our my actor class that we made in C++, and it's right there. And you can name it whatever you want, I'll just leave it called my blueprint. But then we have to drag it onto the scene. Oh, it's in play mode, it won't work. I gotta go stop it from playing. Drag it onto the scene. And now if I hit play, we should see it over here in the output log, see? Hello, hello world. So that's it. That's just kind of a snapshot of interfacing with C++ and Visual Studio and printing out hello world as a warning in the log. But anyway, I hope to do a couple more of Hello Worlds because there's different ways you can do it. So anyway, take care, have a great day, and I'll talk to you next time.